Hey everyone, it is Friday, and today is our last full day of the Whole30 diet. So I wanted to weigh myself this morning uh, to see where I was at for our last day of Whole30. My current weight is 277 pounds. So that means my total weight loss this year is has been 23 pounds. That blows me away. In about three and a half months, I've been able to lose 23 pounds. Uh, I have been working out a little bit harder, but most of that has just been improving my overall diet. I'm very happy with that result. Um, Jen actually is down almost 15 pounds from just doing this diet. So we are really making some progress over here. I only wanted to weigh myself twice during this, which I did. I weighed myself at 286 and now I'm 277. And I did that uh, because I wanted, I knew that the foods we were going to be eating were going to work. Now that I'm left to my own devices, I guess you could say, I will be monitoring my weight a little bit more. I want to make sure I'm keeping a closer eye on it in case I happen to fall off a little bit or uh, start to notice a trend. That way I can stop it right away and try and backtrack, figure out where I'm at. Food I'm eating is, is better for me. And I, I've said it before, it's keeping me full longer. And I'm really, I'm not really tracking it. I will probably have to in, start doing that, especially as we continue. Um, but I know I'm not eating as much at all, and what I am eating is better for me. So there might be some tracking going on. I, I'm, I don't know what that's going to look like quite yet, but 277 pounds. Being so close to my goal of 275 pounds, I'm very happy, and I am so close. I cannot wait to get it. So if you are considering doing the Whole30 diet, uh, I do recommend it. Now, there is a big book with rules and things like that. I did not read that book. Jen read most of it, um, but we use this as more of a framework. Uh, now I've kind of shifted my thought on how to eat and how to cook. So now I know what recipes to go after, which ones to avoid, and I, I'm going to use that going forward. So like I said in the very beginning, this was not a quick fix diet. This was not a diet where uh, I, I'm trying to do this for a period of time and then I can go back to the way I was eating. This diet set up a framework for how I'm going to continue eating. So with that, I am going to continue on uh, picking my own foods. I might not be as strict in some of the departments, but I am still going to be very strict. It's going to take way more self-control than it had the first four weeks. I'm going to have to actually avoid the temptation on my own. I think I can do it. I'm very confident, especially seeing these results. I want them to continue, so I'm, I'm highly motivated to continue eating well. Enough about the diet. Let's move on to the next open workout. For the CrossFit Open 18.4, Going right to the scaled version, again, if you want the RX, please take a look at the description below. That's where that's going to be posted. I'm going directly to scaled again. But for the scaled version, it is a 21.15.9 rep count for deadlift at 135 pounds and then hand release push-ups. Then after that, you're doing a 21.15.9 deadlift at 185 pounds and a 50 foot bear crawl in between. So that's what we're looking at today. It is four time and there is a nine minute time cap. Looking at this workout, nine minutes does not sound very long. Uh, eight, looking back at 18.2, I did not get that done and there was a 12 minute time cap and a whole lot less reps there. So with this, I'm thinking I'm hoping I can get through the first half, the first 21.15.9 of 135 pounds in the hand release push-ups. I think that's a solid goal. Uh, the 135-pound deadlift is not a ton of weight. I think that's very manageable. And the, the hand release push-ups, I'm very confident that I could be able to do those. Um, more than likely, I could do those unbroken. So we'll see how that goes. That, that's kind of my primary goal, get through that. The 185 pound deadlift, I don't think is gonna to be too difficult either. Uh, it's just gonna see how we are with time. I know this is gonna burn me out way more than I think, so I don't want to 
set a goal of getting through the first 21 of the 185 pound deadlift because I'm not sure if I'm going to make it that far. Trying to set realistic goals for myself. If I only make it through the first 21, 15, 9, I think I'll be happy with that. Now, learning from my mistakes on the prior workout 18.3, uh, I am not going to let off the gas when I hit my goal. I, I did. Uh, looking back and watching what I did, I definitely let off the gas. So I, I don't want to do that this time around. I'm going to be pressing on the whole way through. So I am about to head out to the gym. I'm going to try 18.4, see what my score is, and I'll meet up with you guys after that workout. <laughs> tried to do 18.3 again. I wanted to try and beat Jen's score and uh, doing these two workouts back to back was not a good idea. I improved from last time. However, I did not beat her score. I'm going to say my current 18.3 is going to be 378 reps. I improved my score by 31 uh, but I still missed Jen by 30 reps, but I was just so exhausted after 18.4. Now, 18.4, I did exactly what I was hoping to do. I, I got the very first set of the 21.15.9 done. I did all of the deadlifts and all of the push-ups, and I was actually able to get another six deadlifts at the higher weight before time ran out. So that brings my total rep count up to 96. I am happy with that score. That is That was a goal I set out to accomplish, and that is what I wanted to do. And that workout really, really was exhausting. Way more than I thought being just two very simple lifts, but it was nice and fast. Because it was only a nine minute workout, that is part of the reason why I thought it was a good opportunity to redoing 18.3. Now, almost immediately in 18.3, I did not think I was going to improve my score. I, I really, really wanted to quit, um, more so than I think I've had to in a long time, but I didn't. Uh, to be completely honest, I one of the main reasons I didn't quit is because I knew I would have to say something. And that's why I got six more reps in 18.4. I wanted to just be done. I hit my goal, wanted to be done, but I said I was going to power through. I wasn't going to stop. So I got every rep I could after I hit my goal because I didn't want to have to come on here and say I stopped before time ran out. And with 18.3, redoing that, I started it and I wanted to finish what I started. Uh, I'd let you know when I gave up, I did not want to quit because the only way that I'm gonna get better is through discipline, consistency, and pushing myself even farther than I think I can. So that was a huge driving force for me. Another channel who I watch almost every single day called Team Richie. I'm gonna have their channel link down below. If you haven't checked Craig and Jazz out, please do. Their videos, inspire me every single day. What they're doing is fantastic. 
everything that they stand for is do not quit. And that has motivated me. That's the standard I want to live by because if I'm going to get better, I need to keep hustling and I cannot quit. To wrap this up, I think 18.4 was a good workout. It's a sprint of a workout. Uh, nine minutes flies by. So all the little breaks you take really start to add up if you're not careful. I'm going to take a second to talk about my next goal, which is 265 pounds. The reason that is my next goal is because a few years back, Jen and I were working out in a circuit training type uh, group, but the lowest I ever got in that group was 265 pounds. And at that point, I really thought I had turned a corner. I really thought that I was moving in the right direction. I had dropped a couple pounds. I was 10 pounds away from uh, the how heavy I was when we got married, which is a goal coming up. That's my next goal, 265 pounds. 275 is two pounds away. So that's gonna be coming in very soon and I've already got my eyes looking forward on the next goal. So please, if you guys are trying to lose weight, comment below. I want to know how much weight you've lost. Let's get these numbers out there. I want to know what you started at. I want to know what you're at right now. Even if it's two pounds because you started two weeks ago, I want to know about it. Let's get an accountability system out there for everyone trying to lose weight. Uh, this is a great platform to do it. If you want to reach out to me, please Take a look at the links below. Uh, Instagram is the best one for me. I'm on that more often. You can always email me. I get those immediately. Um, otherwise, if you like these videos, please hit subscribe. Follow me. I'm going to be hitting 265 soon. For everyone watching, keep up the good work. We're all in this together. I'll see you in the next video.